Hey, just the other day, um, I looked into my inbox on YouTube and people kept asking me about my rendering settings on Sony Vegas on how I get the the HD look, you know, the widescreen look. So I said, I'll make a tutorial for it and he said, alright, cool. So here I am making a tutorial. So let's get started. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my clip. Let's see here. Alright, you've probably seen these clips on my other tutorials, been using it a lot lately, it's really easy and simple to use. So, as you can see here in my uh, preview box, I have these black borders, which is not what we want, this is the wrong resolution basically. And to change that, after you're done editing and whatnot, what you do is uh, go to File, Properties, and this brings up the project properties basically. This also pops up when you make a new uh, project, which you should know by now. And basically what you do is the settings are the width should be 1280 and 720. Which reminds me, when you record your demos on source, if you, if you check out my other demo, the source uh, recording on HD, if you check that out, you'll see that I changed the resolution of my, sh of my game to 1280 to 720 to record on that so it can look like it's a widescreen and this is why because in Sony Vegas what you do is you put those settings and it basically makes it the HD uh, widescreen that you want to see anyways back to the thing after you set the width and height to 12 by 720 the output ratio should be oh wait sorry the pixel aspect ratio should be 1 which is known as square the frame rate should be changed to 30 Oh, oops. <laughs> My bad. Alright. After it's changed to 30, pixel format can be left, left at 8 bit. Full resolution rendering cause it should be best. Motion blur type should be just left default. And the method should be blend fields. And that's about it. And you press OK. And as you can see, the preview window changes to your. Uh, settings that you just set and if you render it out it'll look HD just like all my videos and when you upload it on YouTube you just give it a couple of seconds and it's basically on HD just like that too so that's about it quick tutorial um, this is for all the people who are asking me about my uh, rendering quality settings and here you go thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel thanks